<laughs> Whoa. I feel like this this stool is like there this the stool is like it's at an it's at an angle. <laughs> it is. I'm afraid that it's gonna like slide off. Like this this next um <laughs> beer spillage is brought to you by inertia. <laughs> <laughs> um do we have any cat owners here? Yes. Because Portland cat owners, we need to have a little talk. <laughs> it's not like a serious talk. It's like cat owners in general, I've noticed lately, they've had this like, th when they're naming their cats, they're, they're naming them with cat puns. Which is fine, but it's getting a little ridiculous. Look, I met a cat, at, I met a cat the other day named like, um, I didn't, okay, I didn't meet a cat. My, my, um, my, um, uh, my relationship with, uh, like, animals is not that formal. I happened upon a cat. I saw this cat, and it, and it, it was a really awesome cat, and I asked its owners, like, oh, what's your cat's name? Mr. Meow Stauffelees. That was the cat's name. They named their cat Mr. Meow Stauffelees. Mr. Meow Stauffelees is a cat pun within a cat reference. They named their cat using a meta cat pun. How do you sleep at night, you sick bastard? Also, what if you lose him? Are you just gonna put that like on a telephone pole? <laughs> Don't name your cat something you're comfortable yelling across the street. Yes. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so glad that these people were, were just a cat owner and not a cat doctor. By the way, if you're wondering if you're, you're capable of naming your cat with that kind of like cat pun, I, I developed a test because I just used the phrase. Cat doctor. And you pictured one of two things. You either pictured a veterinarian, if you pictured that, good for you. <laughs> but you may have pictured a cat in a doctor's suit. And if you pictured that, consider that a cry for help. I'm just so glad that these people that name cats like that are not veterinarians. Because, like, if you're obsessed with cat buns like that and you're a veterinarian, that's gonna translate into the worst bedside manner. We're, I'm so sorry, but Felix, he's come down with a case of feline myelinoma. Third stage, at this point, it's inoperable. You should just put him down, that's your best case, just kill him. But we are offering half-off cremation. I swear that's my only joke that ends in the cat's death. <laughs> but I'm not one to like talk about naming people or naming things like in a bad manner because I'm not one to talk because my name is Christopher Stoffer. My parents named me Christopher Stoffer. <laughs> like no one no no one deserves to be named with that kind of repetition like Christopher Stoffer. That's too much. Like I, I, I don't understand what my what my parents were thinking. Cause they had four months to name me. I know that sounds weird me saying four months, but I was an accident. And I was also a preemie. <laughs> they had four months to name me and then they chose Christopher Stopper. <laughs> Like, um, what were they thinking? Like, oh, oh, oh um, what, what are we going to name our little bundle of joy? Like, oh, our last name is pretty good. Let's give them another one of those. It's like my whole, my whole life has been like a boy named Sue situation, like the song Boy Named Sue, but I'm not stronger for it, like in the song. And 